Excel is not a database. In fact, I bet some of you out there have an Excel spreadsheet to track all your Excel spreadsheets. Full disclosure, I use Excel spreadsheets to track some of the data I move around, but I don't claim it's a database. From the home office in Brookfield, Wisconsin, welcome to the latest episode of Inside Connect and Simplify. Roger here, human capital management consultant, marketing nerd, and host of this episode of Inside Connect and Simplify, sponsored by the Benefit Companies. A recent interaction with a prospect started with her seeing the logo for Connect and Simplify. She said, simplify, out loud. I asked her, is there something you need to simplify at your company? She said, she came from a company that had a human capital management system in place to her current company, which is all paper processes and spreadsheets for HR, payroll, benefits, etc. I said, how's that working out for you? She said, it isn't. Another recent interaction with a prospect, she jokingly said, with pain in her eyes, that her company had a whiteboard of PTO. I asked her to tell me more, and she said, that's it. We use a whiteboard to track PTO. Now, that might work for your kid's schedule in the fridge, but not for a multi-million dollar company. Think of the extra work both of these prospects must face each day. One is working in Excel. One isn't even that advanced. I'm sure there are never any duplicated entries or errors, ever. You got me thinking about processes. And then I saw a meme from The Simpsons. If you know anything about The Simpsons, you know that every episode has Bart writing sentences on the blackboard, typically for his poor behavior. So those sentences usually start with, I will not, etc. But this particular meme was, Excel is not a database. And it's not. Excel is a tool to store data. So when we hear that companies are using Excel spreadsheets to track data for important dates, like start dates, anniversaries, licensing requirements, time off renewals, eligibility for benefits and retirement plans, that's just a starting point. There are hundreds of dates, timetables, deadlines that need to be tracked and met, and paper and Excel is not the way to do it. So put yourselves in the shoes of the prospects I mentioned. If that was you, what would you do? Do nothing or do something? To be clear, these prospects were not the decision makers, but they are the point people for getting information about possible solutions to take back to the decision makers. My goal is always to learn what the big picture is, what the immediate need is, or the first thing that needs to be fixed, and then give them an overview of how we can help. Then I ask permission to continue the conversation. Can you imagine paper processes to handle all HR forms, benefits, enrollment, retirement plan enrollment, and all the updates involved between the vendors? What could go wrong? Did I mention the one prospect has 2,000 employees? Is there enough paper to even do that work? Or the prospect whose company tracks time on a whiteboard? What happened if the board got touched by accident or erased? Did they ever take a picture of it after every edit? How do they know when the last update was made or if it is current? So what's the biggest holdup or hang up or reason for not upgrading systems? Might be fear of the unknown, not knowing where to start, how to gather information about options, cost, I'm sure, no time to do the work. I'm sure these are all factors. Why? Because we ask prospects and they tell us. A recent article on human resources tech trends stated that cloud-based HR was one of the top trends with fixing recruiting and analytics using artificial intelligence kind of coming up second and third. So cloud-based HR by itself should have recruiting, hiring, and onboarding components built in and AI to analyze the employee data to target those ready to make moves in their job family or potentially laterally to another position. AI's real-time data gives management tools to make hiring and staffing decisions, as well as to help project needs, engagement, and departments that are lagging and need adjustments. 
Sorry to say, but those two prospects I mentioned, right now AI is a is a dream until they get a cloud-based system to take care of the daily admin tasks. But think of the rewards those prospects would realize if they had their manual processes automated, just eliminating potential errors and duplications while streamlining their recruiting and hiring and onboarding would be life-changing. Where to start? Well, I talked about this in a previous podcast. You can get on the phone and call a handful of vendors for HR and for payroll and TLM and benefits and retirement plans and start learning. That's potentially 25 interviews. Shouldn't take too long. Or you can call one vendor that has subject matter experts in all these disciplines, as well as human capital management. One vendor who also has competitive intelligence on the well-known players in the human capital management space. One that works nationwide. One with the industry leader in human capital management technology as their tech partner. One who designs solutions to fit every individual client and timetable. Yeah, so 25 calls or one call. Look, Excel is not a database. Whiteboards are not databases. Your homegrown system built by your IT guy is not a database. Paper is not a database. And even if they were, they cannot keep up with your company's needs. Bart was right. Excel is not a database. Listen to Bart, at least this time. I'm pretty sure when Bart wrote on the chalkboard, the capital of Montana is not Hannah. He was just going for the laugh. The capital is actually Helena. So listen to Bart. And thanks for listening to us. You want to get rid of paper and whiteboards? We're right here. Give us a call. Until next time, be well. Find our podcast, Inside Connect and Simplify, in all of the following places. So you can listen anytime, anywhere. Go to connectandsimplify.com slash podcast to find our entire library of podcasts. Also find us on Alexa, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon Music, Listen Notes, Google Podcasts, Pandora, and Podbean. Thanks for listening.